What is up Tang Gang? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Anthony. I'm a first year medical student at Columbia Medical School. And in this video, I want to talk about effective study techniques. I'm partly making this video because I want to remind myself what good studying looks like. Um, coming into medical school, I realized that a lot of my techniques for studying wouldn't exactly work in medical school, such as taking very detailed notes on every single lecture slide and doing all the practice problems our professors gave us before an exam. I just realized there simply isn't enough time in the day and there's too much content in medical school. Um, but I do think I went the other extreme and I neglected a lot of study techniques and study um, kind of philosophies that were very helpful and still could be helpful in medical school. And after some reflection, I've condensed these methodologies into several points that I hope are as helpful for you to hear as for me to say. Our first point is to be consistent. Whether we're studying classical mythology or math or immunology, repetitive exposure of the same material is what builds that content into our long-term memory. Our second point is to challenge ourselves. Just like going to the gym, no pain, no gain when it comes to studying. Um, if we ever feel complacent or too comfortable when it comes to studying, we're probably doing something wrong and it might be time to turn it up a notch, uh, to push ourselves a little more. And though it might make studying a little bit harder, it will also probably make it more interesting. Our third point is somewhat related to our last one and it's to practice active studying rather than passively scrolling through lecture slides, passively watching lecture. Um, I think I, I'm sharing this one because in our last block when we learned neurology and hematology, I think I relied too much on passive studying and when it came to the exam, I was less comfortable than I would have liked with a lot of the concepts in um, especially the clotting cascade and thalassemias. Um, and this, this unit that we're about to enter is cardiology, and I want to remind myself a little bit extra this time uh, to turn off my iPad screen uh, at a certain point and just test myself you know, by closing my eyes or staring into blank space, just seeing what I actually know without any content in front of me. Our fourth point is that there are no shortcuts, and I think this is something I want to keep more in my mind this unit as we start cardiology. And I think it's, it's very important to keep in mind, especially when you're in an environment where there are a lot of brilliant people around you, um, your classmates, maybe they understand concepts quicker or they process things quicker. Um, it might be tempting to think, maybe there's a shortcut to learning this. Maybe I don't really need to understand every single step of this coagulation cascade in detail. But I would urge against that temptation and I'm pushing myself to keep in mind this semester that I just need to trust more that the grueling and sometimes painful process of studying uh, will eventually reap fruit in the near future. And I think as long as we have that in mind, we'll be able to steer away from the dangerous temptation to believe that there are shortcuts in studying. Our fifth and final point is to be kind with ourselves. We're all going to have those frustrating moments when we throw up our hands in the air and say, I never want to look at this concept again. Um, but the important part is how we respond to that frustrating moment and what we do um, after that, that determines the trajectory of our studying. And for me, one of those moments was last semester, or last block in our hematology unit when we learned about the coagulation cascade. And at first I just couldn't keep track of all the factors involved in the steps of the cascade, but when I came back to it later with a patient mindset um, and just telling myself, you know, I'm going to have to learn this at one point or another. It might as well be right now. And just slowly but steadily going through each step, um, I was able to get it and I was able to retain the material I needed for the exam. And I think having this mindset of give me 10 more minutes, I'll understand it in 10 minutes. And then 10 minutes later, if we don't understand it yet, 10 more minutes, you know, just pushing yourself through the next 10 minutes. I think that will take us far in our studying. Um, and I think this might be the most important tip I'm giving in this video is to have that persistence um, and not to let up when we don't understand something the first time. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys take something away from it um, for your own studying purposes. 
and I might get back to some previewing of um, cardiology for our lecture tomorrow. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already joined the Tang Gang and give this video a like if you like it and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out Tang Gang.